Khalifa, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East. Now, as one of the most uh, senior advisors to that UNHCR and to the High Commissioner, um, could you tell us uh, what are some of the most important issues that, are, that the world is facing and that the UNHCR is dealing with these days? First, thank you for having me. One of the main uh, problems that we are dealing with is the increasing number of people in displacement. The figures are increasing year on year. Between 21 and 22, more than 13 million people were forcibly uh, displaced. This is a major challenge. We are now dealing with 103 million people who are forcibly displaced. And I put a few lines under the word forcibly because they do not have a choice. They are not economic migrants. They are refugees who needed to flee uh, for their life because of persecution, because of violence, because of wars, because of climate change related issues. Uh, the second challenge is the uh, protraction of the problems. Um, nowadays, displacement takes so many years. We heard it during the uh, conference that the average uh, Time in displacement is more than 25 years and we have situations uh, where people are displaced for more than 70 years like the Palestinian refugees. We have Afghani refugees who are displaced between Pakistan and Iran and other countries for the last 42 years. Uh, Somalis in Dadaab in Kenya for more than 30 years. So you cannot deal with these problems from an emergency perspective. Uh, you need to make sure that those people are living in a near normal situation, which is very challenging because it requires working on legal frameworks in, in countries of uh, the, the, the host refugees, and it requires massive resources as well. Now, the wealthier nations around the world, and I want to concentrate in our region here, the GCC, what can GCC countries do more to support um, the causes UNHCR is so actively uh, fighting for? I um, would like to start actually by thanking GCC countries who support the work of uh, UNHCR. And we have uh, two countries who are giving us more than $20 million per year. And they're members of the what we call the 20 million uh, club. Uh, we received funding from GCC countries uh, for different emergencies worldwide. Uh, however, nothing is actually enough, neither by GCC countries nor other countries, because the needs are great, the needs are huge, and every country can do more. Every country in the world can do more by supporting financially, uh, especially countries who uh, have resources. One uh, issue that is uh, worth mentioning is that none of the GCC countries is uh, signatory to the 51 uh, conventions for refugees. However, we are seeing very good treatment of people from refugee producing countries. Uh, the number of repatriation during my last uh, seven years in the region here is less than a handful and this i mean is worth commending i i think we are seeing a good treatment of uh, people from refugee producing uh, countries and we hope that this continues in the future i see and moving to a more individual level what can individuals do apart from monetary donations to help unhcr as, 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 uh, for, you know, as individuals themselves? Individuals can participate in advocacy programs. Individuals can educate governments. Uh, uh, individuals can influence governments. They can make sure that the uh, political will is in the direction of uh, refugee assistance. Uh, individuals can also connect with each other to make sure that the total impact of their individual uh, programs are adding to a total uh, picture. Sometimes uh, you can do something and I can do something and the neighbor does something, but they're not connected. 
they remain fragmented and they do not lead to anything. I think one uh, level, one higher level of uh, awareness uh, that is required in this context is to make sure that whatever I do as an individual is adding up to what the next individual does to make sure that we are moving in the same direction. I see. And um, in terms of uh, key messages you would like participants of this uh, conference and uh, individuals to take home with them, what would you say are the key messages we should take with us from UNHCR? <laughs> My key message to participants here is that we spoke a lot about uh, metamorphosis and uh, changing at the personal level in, uh, in human, human metamorphosis. We should not forget that there are millions of people uh, out there in desperate situations who do not even have a chance to survive, not to metamorphose. Those people need assistance tonight those people are making very difficult choices between feeding their children or treating them if they need medical assistance. And uh, again, the next level of metamorphosis is to go beyond my personal development into a level where I make sure that what changes in me can contribute to change in the world. Wonderful. Khaled Khalifa, thank you very much indeed for joining us here at Economy Middle East. We appreciate your time.